Hello, Chris Kiek here, and I wanna talk in this video about the power of good save settings in Tecla structures and Tecla administration. The very first thing when you get started is that you wanna get a firm folder set up or a model template. And whether you use a firm folder or a model template depends on whether everybody's working in the same office and you have a fast server speed, then I'd probably recommend a firm folder. If you're gonna be working with a federated group of people that are in different offices or different locations and you're gonna be using model sharing, then I might suggest a model template to store all of your custom settings. But one of the key things I want you to take away is that you need to save away good standard part properties that have all of your material grades matching certain profile types, as well as your part and assembly numbering prefixes in your naming convention. And all of that is a system that ties down into your drawing creation and all the filters that you wanna make for your erection drawings and different save settings for identifying things on your shop or assembly drawings. Now, the next thing is saving you away good connection settings. I watch people spend tons of time, job after job, going through each tab page, refiguring out the fields that they need to enter, save away good connection settings for your 10 most common connections like 141, 143 for your clip angle, 146 for your shear tab, 11 and 60 for your bracing. Save good standards. And, you know, In fact, when you save something away as all lowercase, the word standard, that's the default that Tecla is gonna load whenever you open a model. So saving away good connection settings is next. Then when you get into drawings, go ahead and save away individual object settings like part mark properties, dimension settings, things on the individual object level. And that's a great way to get started rather than having to get under the hood and set up the, the actual views and the drawings. That kind of comes as a second level once you get familiar with just how the drawings work and objects on the drawings and the drawing properties work. Come, go ahead and set that stuff up because having good save settings literally can, I, I'm, I'm not joking here, it can impact probably up to 20% of your productivity. And it's not just the actual productivity of saving clicks and time, it's preventing errors, especially starting with your part properties at the beginning. I've uh, seen some customer models where I see that everything is green, all their par parts are green, beams, columns, everything. And it's like, I click on the parts and I notice that everything is called beam, when uh, even a rail or an angle or a brace. And so that's bad because that impacts the automation of making your drawings with the master drawing catalog and filters on the erection drawings. So really have good save settings and it's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of heartache.